Hey buddies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today we're going to set up, play and review Point Salad. Now I've prior already mentioned this in the unboxing teaser trailer preview overview video and I've already given you my review but this obviously had a set up and a bit more detail. So here we go. This is a game whereby you're trying to get the most points. You get the most points by getting various vegetables and multipliers through point scoring cards. You're firstly going to lay out six cards. Now I do know this is slightly out of shot. That's just to get everything in place. So you're doing a three by two grid, and I'm deliberately showing you all the different kinds of vegetables you can get. Split this deck roughly into thirds, like this, and depending on the number of players, you are going to remove cards. So I'm setting this up as a six player game. If you are playing as a two, you're only using six of each type of vegetables, and you're basically going to increase that based on the amount of players. So, like I said, the game does scale in terms of duration, but it's not a long game. It does not outside its welcome as a six. I most recently played this game as a six, in fact. But as a three player game, you are going to be counting nine of each vegetables as opposed to six in a two player game. In a four player game, you're removing six of each vegetable. Five player game, you're removing three of each vegetable. And six players, like I said, you're using the entire deck. So right now, you can do one of two options. You can either take any two of these vegetables or you can take one of these cards. So this card gives us five points, as it states, for having two lettuce at the end of the game. This one will give me two points for a pepper, one point for tomato, and minus two for lettuce. So in this case, you probably don't want both of these cards. Lastly, five points for the veggie, you have the least of, what if we have at least three? So as long as you have at least three, let's say, lettuce, then you might want to have that. Now these are all combined. So if I've got, say, three lettuce, then I would get myself, well, only five points, but if I had four lettuce, then I'd get 10 points because these two will combine. You can have multiple uses at each time. Over here as well, you'd have at least three. So you'd be scoring yourself five points. Remembering you will be losing minus two per lettuce. So look at these options. I can't see what I might pick. Uh, I might just choose to grab this, hoping this comes up. So let me take that and show you how that's going to work. So I've taken that card and that's just mine out to the side. And now it's the next person's turn. In this instance, they might see that I've got this and they might try and leave me lettuces. Who knows? Maybe they just take two cards, say so take two cards. But let's say they take the carrot and let's leave their card deck over here and they'll take an onion. So they have these two items. These are now gonna flip down. So now we have what was a scoring thing is now a regular vegetable. So now seeing this, uh, obviously I like my peppers. Imagine it is my turn. I take these two cards, so I take two peppers. And now straight away, I know at the end of the game, I'll be scoring myself four points as it stands. These will then flip down. And the game continues until all the cards are used. Now, if one of these decks runs out prematurely, you just grab half of the deck from the bottom half and distribute them elsewhere. So you'll always have cards filling downwards. Now, there's an optional thing you can be doing on your turn. If, for example, I take this card, I might want to take it because I'm trying to get at least three peppers at the end of the game. I might want to take this card because already it's going to score me two points. That's going to score me two points. And I don't have any cabbages. That might be better. Sorry, yeah, cabbages, because... I don't have to worry about taking cabbages if I take this card. So maybe I take this card, but instead of using it as it is, I can flip it. Now there's no need for me to flip it because if I flip it, I'll be losing minus two. But on your turn, you can always flip one of your point scoring cards, and only one on a turn, or you can flip the card you've just drawn. On a future turn, again, I could still flip this, but just the once. So I keep this as it is. And again, at the right now, I'm scoring myself two points. So now it's their turn. I am aware there is some shine going on there. They take a card, let's say it's back to my turn. Yeah, let's take this card and uh, I don't want this. I do want some onions, there's no onions. There's no onions coming out because of course he's gonna flip over, become a carrot. Let's just take this. So now I've got some tomatoes. We'll score me for tomatoes, that's good. I'm aware that's my opponent's pile, but to leave them there. These two will flip down, so we know it's a carrot. We know this is gonna be a carrot too. And now in this case, let's say it's my turn again. I might wanna take this one. So I might take these two carrots. Of course, as soon as I take it, oh dear, it's gone. So that's the downside. You have to be aware of the fact that what you're taking, you almost want to take from a different stack, so then that wouldn't have caused. So anyway, there's my carrots. Like I said, end of the game, you're going to score up on your points. So I'll be scoring three points as it stands for here. I've got an onion, or sorry, it's my opponent's turn. So I wouldn't be scoring any onion points. I'll get some more points over here, and I've got some tomatoes, and I've got some carrots just out of shot. So currently my score is two, four, six with this, seven, and then nothing here, and uh, that might be it. Six, seven, eight, nine, uh, nine, uh, nine, ten, plus the tomato. Toad up your final score, and that is how the game works. A very swift to play. Now, the size of the box is pretty big for what it is. Uh, you, know, you might know the uh, games such as Zexnim, which you can find on the channel. It's a much slimmer box, and I think, you know, if it did fit in something, it is too big for Zexnim, for example, but you could have this nice slim box, or you could carry them by yourselves. 
These cards though are, I think, American sized, so they're a bit bigger than the standard European size. So bear in mind uh, for your card sleeve. So that is all going my sleeving video too. The first time I played this, it was actually sleeved with penny sleeves. So I might well uh, choose to do that at some point. Also, if you want to see pictures of this, ch check over to Instagram. There's over 2,800 posts presently. I tend to actually also have separate decks. So I have them two player ready to go. I have six of each, uh, obviously vegetable in this set, and then I'm ready to play. Yeah, swift, easy game, eight out of 10. I think it's a nice, quick, filler game. They even recommend playing it multiple times because you have multiple rounds of it. And uh, yeah, aside from that, you can support the channel by Patreon. There are occasional competitions on Linktree, but they are time sensitive, so they do disappear. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. YouTube are best. Also, please like, share. Again, if you hit the subscribe button notification bell, there's also going to be a chap who is going to be looking through the balancing of these cards. So it's a two minute video that hopefully you find of interest. This is gonna go in the setup play and review playlist, the Amass Games playlist amongst others. And for now, back to the table.